Welcome to the Bryce Jordan Center as we get set for tip off Michigan and Penn State. We got all of our starters down, um, Jeff Brooks. So it just means that, you know, as a team, we got we to gotta pick up the slack. Forward Jeff Brooks has been lost with a shoulder injury. He will not play today. He is out indefinitely. We take care of our home court. Family on three, one, two, three. Family. The unofficial American holiday of Super Bowl Sunday, and Penn State was glad to be a part of it, especially head coach Ed DeCellis. Let's go, guys, let's go! DeCellis had led the Nittany Lions to wins over three top 10 teams on Super Bowl Sunday weekend in the past. With Jeff Brooks out, it would be a chance for Cameron Woodyard to step up against Michigan in his second career start. This is Tim Hardaway Jr. not afraid to put up a shot, gets the first one off for Michigan, rebounded by Penn State. Frazier puts up a three, can't get the home roll, and the rebound is controlled by Penn State. Back up and in, first bucket for Cameron Woodyard. Battle jumper, good, right off the inbound. Five to shoot, Jackson at the foul line, near wing it's Frazier, two to shoot, takes the shot, and gone. Playing with a short bench and without starter Jeff Brooks. David Jackson straight away three. If there's a player in the league that loves a shot more than David Jackson's top of the key jump shot, I don't know who it is. Turned over, stripped by Jackson to Frazier, and then leaves it for battle, and the finger Back to battle, great pass, lays it up and in, basket counts and a foul. You can't do it any better than that. Takes the jumper for three. Good, nice feed by Billy Oliver. Yeah, Billy got it right in the teeth of the zone, just turned to reverse it. Taylor was in the right spot. The Jordan Center crowd roared as battle dazzled as he usually does. The Nittany Lions had won four straight Big Ten home games, and when David Jackson nailed a three from the top of the key, Penn State led by 11. But with two Lions starters on the bench with foul trouble, the Wolverines were able to erase the deficit as they too got hot from outside. Fogridge transition triple, yes sir! Extra pass finds to Douglas. Three straight threes for Michigan. Yes! Battle and the Lions were down three at the half, not happy with the way they had played the final minutes before the break. One, two, three. Man. But they were determined to change it. They knew there were several things in their favor. The dedication to working hard, the support of the home crowd, and the adjustments of head coach Ed DeCellis and his staff, and they came out shooting. Battle to Frazier, penetrates through, stops. Battle, far corner for three to tie, and good, and Penn State ties the game. Jumper for the lead, it's good, and Taylor Battle's just become Penn State's all-time leading scorer in Big Ten play. Three-pointer, got it. Penn State, that hot start the second half. That's Woodyard. Woodyard open three. Got it. He needed that. That was huge. Different things. He can drive. He can score down low. Woodyard gets another three. Frazier pulls his way, lays it up and in. What a play by Frazier. Yeah, that's what Timmy can do. Late shot clock now. He's believing in himself. He took it all the way to the rim. Morris drives, too strong, rebound, and he finishes. State lead, both teams have been quiet over the last few minutes. Taylor Battle with a hand in his face. <laughs> and Bubby, as the Nittany Lions have come alive in this second half. Frazier, down to Oliver, lays it up and in. What a play by Frazier like this. It was a game of runs. In each half, Penn State had theirs early. In each half, Michigan had theirs late. It added up to a typical Big Ten struggle, and the game would be tied with under four minutes to play. Michigan's got some life here. 8 0 run to give them a two point lead. Battle through a seam down the lane, lays it up and in. And one. Basket counts to the foul. Taylor Battle would score 20 of his game high 31 in the second half, but it wasn't enough. The Nittany Lions' success had been built largely on defense all season. That's why they had received votes in the polls for four straight weeks. But they knew in their hearts they fell short in that department down the stretch against the Wolverines. But they also knew they couldn't wait to work on it for their next game against Michigan State. Good luck to you.